Ooh, this is hard. Oh, this was really, really hard. And I needed some time because, oh, wow. Ooh, this is hard. Mm. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Happy Elfmas. We are still rolling right along. And today is one that has been highly, highly requested for months now. <laughs> But now, since I know that we are done with releases from this brand for this year, 2022, I can do this video in good faith. And today, you all, I am ranking my entire Kaoli fragrance collection. Yes, my entire Kaoli fragrance collection, you all. I have, let's see, how many fragrances do I have? A lot. I actually will be inserting a picture of all of my fragrances so you all can see what the full arsenal looks like. So yeah. <laughs> let me tell y'all something this was a task to do because this is a brand that came into my life last year 2021 for those that have been following me and know that some of my early review videos was actually on this brand when i first started doing dedicated reviews kaoli was one of the first brands i did one of their fragrances so that's why this is interesting this is a full circle moment to go from it's just a hype brand and let me see so now i have eight of them yeah i have eight so this is gonna be fun <laughs> this is gonna be some of it's gonna be controversial because i know some of you all feel very strongly about some of these fragrances that are in here but i think it's gonna be a lot of fun but again it's my list and let's get into it but before we do that elves you know what we must do first lipstick of the day everyone yeah i know it's gonna be a mac at this point and this is diva because get into this look by the way Full on holiday glam. I want to be all dolled up for this video. Again, MAC Diva, everything will be in the description box below, as well as all the fragrances will be linked below. Next up, we have fragrance of the day. To keep this video on biased balance, of course, fragrance of the day could not be one of my Kaoli fragrances, so I wouldn't be persuaded by how good I smell at the moment. And the fragrance of the day is from Killian, and this is Princess. Killian Princess, or the full name, I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. So I smell like marshmallow goodness right now, and it's a very good neutral scent to have on for this type of video. Killian's Princess is your fragrance of the day. Okay, now that we've gotten all the nice formalities out of the way, let's get into talking about these fragrances and how they stack up. Let's go ahead and ruffle some feathers real quick. In the number eight spot, because again, I have eight fragrances. Number eight, so the bottom of the list. You all, it's a new one. It's one of the new ones for this year. It's a 2022 release. And the number eight spot goes to K. Ali Love Fest Burning Cherry. Now, does that mean I hate the fragrance? No, but if you all saw in my dedicated review, it's a soft fragrance on me and I wish it was louder. I wear this intimately to bed because I do like the scent, but it's not my favorite scent. It's not the one I'm going to reach for first. So, Yes, I understand cherry is a moment. It's the scent note of 2022 for sure, hands down in fragrance world. Cherry was it, but this is not my favorite Kaoli, even though I have played with it a lot being that it's one of the newer releases, but yeah, it goes to the number eight spot. Kaoli Love Fest Burning Cherry. The next spot, the number seven spot, you all, this one actually goes to the first full bottle Kaoli I ever got, you all. So we're taking it back to last year, one of my early reviews, and this is Kaoli's Invite Only Amber 23 is your number seven. Mm. This one, I struggled with putting this one at the number seven spot and putting it at the bottom, but I had to be honest with myself. What it is, you all, is that I have to be in the mood for the tobacco note in it, that boozy tobacco note. And I love those moments, and it is a beautiful moment when it happens, but I'm not always in a tobacco mood. So for me, it couldn't be higher up on the list for that reason. Even though I do wear this scent and I do like it, I enjoy it, but I have to be in a boozy type of mood. Fun fact, by the way, since we're here, because there is a sour cherry note in the invite only, it layers beautifully with the Love Fest Burning Cherry, so you can have more of a cherry note. So since we're talking about layering, and Kaoli is a brand that is all about layering, seven and eight layer beautifully together, and I wanna say that right now. Next up, number six. This is one, <laughs> this is one that has a cult following, and some of y'all might be mad about this one, but I gotta be real. The number six spot, you all, it goes to the Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper Fragrance. <laughs> I like this scent because this is so fun. 
True story, this is the first scent I actually saw from the Cali brand that was getting a whole bunch of traction, particularly in the beauty community, because you all know I was a makeup artist prior to my YouTube career. And I remember all, a lot of the makeup girls was saying, oh, you gotta get this Kali," and it was the pink bottle, but it was sold out. And all of them swarping down, this was so amazing. But I was so skeptical because the girls that were saying it was so great and so wonderful, all of them were like 25. Okay, your girl is 33. And I was like, hmm. Do they really know good perfumery? Um, I, I don't, it makes me nervous. <laughs> I'm like, y'all are barely really getting in the world right here. I don't know. So, finally was able to smell this one when I got my bottle and I was like, oh, though, this is really good. This is very complex, Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper 25. Very complex, it's a pretty girl scent, hence the pink bottle. I do like this one, but I must say, I reach for others more on the list. So she's cute. Sweet diamond pink pepper, but sorry y'all, she's not that girl though. Mm -mm. Next up, the number five spot, the number five spot. This scent is to me from Kaylee, and it's because it's an older scent. This is an unsung hero from the brand. This scent isn't talked about enough for me, and I'm also guilty of this association because I don't talk about this scent enough, even though I smell it and I enjoy it when I do pull for it, or even when I just want to smell it when I'm just leisurely at home. And the number five spot, you all, this hands down goes to Elixir 11. Elixir 11, and I have a theory on why this scent isn't talked about enough, and this is because this scent is one of the more elevated, more grown up scents, in my opinion, definitely for the more mature. This isn't a casual fragrance in my opinion. This one I need to be dressed up for. And I think that's why this one isn't raved about as much because people feel like I need to be doing something when I'm wearing it. And I'm guilty of that as well. But let me tell you, the patchouli in here and that apple note in here are amazing now that we are about to enter into winter time. So this is a scent, the bottle perfectly matches. It's more grown up upscale appeal in my opinion. Don't sleep on Kaylee Elixir. Again, this isn't new. This one's been out forever, but this one is so good. And I think a lot more of us need to revisit this scent. So again, Kaylee Elixir 11 is in the number five spot. All right, you all, top four. Let's see what happens. <laughs> so in the number four spot, this is one people love it and they also hate it. This one is very polarizing, but I happen to fall on the side of at first, I was nervous. I thought this wasn't going to be good. I thought this was going to be juvenile, but I reach for this scent a lot. And I got to be real honest about how fun and happy this scent makes me. And this goes to Eden Juicy Apple is your number four. Eden Juicy Apple, you all. This is a scent. I know people have tried to come forward and call it Body Splash with a better name, but no. <laughs> This scent, ladies, listen to me right now. Ladies, gentlemen, whatever. If you want a male magnet type of scent that's fun and it's easy and you don't have to think about it, Kaali Eden Juicy Apple. Y'all, this is so juicy and it's sweet. You just smell like apple berry candy. And if you're like me, which the head elf, he loves apple. He loves apple anything. So whenever I wear this, he loves it. In fact, spoiler alert, Eden Juicy Apple is Head Elf's number one favorite Kaali in my collection because it's the Apple Note. So this is his favorite. And I was like, oh, okay. Because fun thing, we always, um, I always let him smell my new fragrances and candles when I get them. And when I let him smell the Eden Juicy Apple when I got it, he was like, oh, I love this. He had an immediate love reaction. So yeah, there, that also helps. And then I reach for it. I wear it on my own, whether I'm around him or not. Because this is just a fun scent. When I want just a happy-go-lucky type of scent, Eden Juicy Apple, so good. Mm. Again, that is your number four fragrance. Top three, everyone. Top three. <laughs> Ooh, y'all want to be mad at number three. I feel it because... It's almost slander to some people for this not to be number one. And if you know, you know. But the number three spot, <sighs> she's that girl. She has a cold following and she stays sold out because I had to track her down to get it when back when it was always constantly out of stock, you all. And I'm talking about the number three spot goes to Kaali Vanilla 28. Yes, Vanilla 28 is in the number three spot. Top three, yes, but it's not number one. This scent, y'all, it's an easy reach. It's vanilla and it's brown sugar. And I love how dark my juice has become over time because I've had my bottle now for over a year. So 
Me and this bottle are going strong and you see my dent. So I do wear this bottle and this is the big bottle. This is the only 100 mil that I own. The rest of my bottles are all 50 mils. And I do have a travel size in there somewhere packed away. But Vanilla 28, it's an easy reach. I personally love wearing this one to bed. When I just wanna smell like a snack, this is what I reach for. It's my bedtime scent. This one, along with the Love Fest Burning Cherry, those are my intimate scents. I can definitely tell y'all. These do what they need to do, and they're just a lot of fun, just to smell good when I wanna go to bed in. Now, Vanilla 28 can be fun to layer with, but personally, I don't really layer it that much. I actually enjoy just wearing it for what it is and then it stand on its own. But I will share later on with what I will layer it with very, very soon. So your number three spot again is Kayali Vanilla 28. Number two spot. This is another one that is newer to the collection. This is one, either you get it or you don't. <laughs> Very polarizing. Those of us that get it, we love it. And those of us that don't get it, we just think y'all ain't ready. Just give it some time. And the fragrance that is in the number two spot is the latest fragrance from Kayali. And this is the Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli. What's the number? 64. This is the number two spot fragrance you want. This scent is powerful and I love it. People want to hug you. The patchouli is a blast. That oud in here is giving what it needs to give. The vanilla, that creme brulee and the dry down, sexy. Just sexy. This is how I want to smell during the holidays. And as you all know, I have been rocking this during the holidays. I wore it on Thanksgiving. And this will be making my bag for when I travel for Christmas. So yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the winterized vanilla that I have been looking for because I like to get a new winter vanilla every year. And this is the one for this year. <laughs> very much enjoying it i'm still learning it and playing with it and i'm still getting to know all of the notes in it because every time i wear it something else opens up on the skin very much a complex scent and i love the direction the brand is going with how complex this is in comparison to its previous releases yes this fragrance speaks to those of us that enjoy niche fragrances period that's what it is so again kaoli vanilla royale is the number two spot fragrance and now for number one. Hmm. <laughs> number one, this one was a love at first sniff when I first unboxed it. And I still feel this way, even though technically it's out of season for this scent, but in smelling it again and preparing for this video and trying to decide how I rank all my fragrances, this fragrance still brings the biggest smile to my face, period. And the number one spot fragrance goes to <laughs> Kayali Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. Mm hmm. And the number is 21. Yes, Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21. This is my absolute all time favorite Kayali fragrance. It's that vanilla, it's that coconut. It has that dash of sunscreen to it. It just smells like vacation. I love this suit. I love the bottle. It's like a rose gold iridescent. This is just so pretty, man. And speaking of layering, I love to amp up the vanilla with that vanilla 28. So these two layer beautifully together. It just makes sense. And back to the vanilla 28 with layering, it also layers extremely well with a quartz vanilla royale because we just want to keep the vanilla going since we're talking about layering and all. But back to number one, yes, Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. I just like to mist in this, like I bathe in this scent. I don't mind just spritzing it on and and because you know, it's such a fine mist. This just makes me happy. And even though it's technically Christmas time when I'm filming this, I still would wear this right now, even though it's technically out of season four in my mind, but it makes me happy. So I just might wear this soon. So if y'all see this as a fragrance of the day in the dead of winter, you know why. <laughs> but the number one spot again goes to Kayali Utopia Vanilla Coco 21. Love, love, love this fragrance for sure so all right elves that wraps up my ranking of my kaoli fragrance collection let me know what you think did it stack up how you thought did you know my number one would be utopia did you expect something else let me know in the comments below and as well let me know what is your ranking of your kaoli collection what are your top three let me know um i know there are some other fragrances because i do not own the entire collection but i'm just not as compelled right now to get some of the other ones. Now, I might change my mind because I'm kind of on the fence about eventually getting the Deja Vu white flower one because I have smelled it and so forth, but it's sold out. 
in my local Sephora last time I went, but I might pick it up in 2023. We'll see, because she kind of cute and I love a white floor moment. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> but as always, if you dig me, subscribe to the channel. If you're here for the content, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not here for any of this, then I guess you just don't like Kayali and smelling good. So there's that. So until next time, I will catch you on the next video. Bye y'all. <laughs>